Hi everyone, it's the season for the great outdoors. And your friends at the Ultimate Tech Hub are going to take a look at a pool chlorinator from Pentair. This is the Pentair 300 Chlorine Feeder. The Pentair 300 can treat between 12,000 gallons and 47,600 gallons. Which means this chlorinator will work with very large pools. So in this episode, we'll show you the installation, how to set it up, all the features, maintenance, and lastly, we'll let you know if this chlorinator is a good investment for your pool situation. So guys and gals, let's get started. Okay, for our current situation, the Pentair 300 will go right here on that pad. And we could secure the chlorine feeder to this concrete slab, but we decided not to. It may crack the slab. FYI, these concrete slabs are not solid concrete. Inside the slab is styrofoam. So it's too risky to try to mount that feeder to the slab. But it's okay, this feeder's not gonna go anywhere. Once it fills with water and chlorine tablets, it's pretty heavy. And this install is pretty simple. Only two hoses. One hose goes from the pressure side of the pump to the chlorinator, and the other hose goes from the chlorinator to the intake of the pool. However, I would recommend having a professional install this. Unless, of course, you're really good at plumbing. And I'm not. So we hired Hunter from the Pool Doctor in Las Vegas. His company does pool maintenance, installation, and repairs. So all the information will be in the link in the description below. So when Hunter installed this pool chlorinator, he drilled one hole in this pipe, which is the pressure side of the pump, and then another hole where the intake is for the pool. And both hoses connect the same way to these pipes. And to secure the hose to the pipe, he uses a pipe collar. Since there's so much pressure coming out of the pipe, these pipe collars keep the hose from popping out. So now let me show you how to fill this up with chlorine tablets. Simply unscrew the top and begin to add your tablets. If you stack the tablets flat, you can get six or seven tablets in easy. If you just throw them in randomly, then it may only hold four or five tablets. When you're done filling the chlorine feeder with chlorine tabs, screw the top back on tightly. And just a heads up, you can fill this chlorinator with the pump on or the pump off. However, I recommend turning the pump off when you want to add more tabs. If you do add tablets to this pump when it's on, you'll need to prime the feeder. And all you have to do is turn this lever back and forth a couple times to prime it. Now let's talk about this dial. You have an off position and you have numbers one through five. A low number is low chlorine and a higher number is higher chlorine. So as you test your pool water, you'll determine how much chlorine you need to put in. So for instance, if you have a pool party on Saturday, then on Sunday, you want to put the dial on four or five. In days when there's no swimming or light swimming, maybe leave it on a one or a two. It's pretty easy. As far as maintenance goes, the two hoses he just installed will not last forever. Between the sun, the water, and the chlorine, 
these two hoses will eventually crack. So at some point, you'll need to replace them. And luckily, Hunter gave me extra hose. As far as the chlorine feeder goes, you'll need to maintain the dial. And by that, you'll need to clean it with a toothbrush, outside and inside, maybe every six to eight months. Once again, it'll get buildup on there. And too much buildup, and this chlorine feeder will not work well, or at all. So that's all there really is with the features and the maintenance. It's very simple. And as far as the price goes, I found this on Amazon for about $111. And I'll put a link in the description where you can buy it. So lastly, what is the best situation you would need a chlorine feeder for? What type of pool owner would benefit the most from this chlorine feeder? Well, my personal opinion, if you're a pool owner and you take care of your pool yourself, meaning you do all the maintenance, then this chlorine feeder is a must. It makes things very simple. Just dial in your number and you're good to go. However, if you pay for pool maintenance, like having a pool guy come out once a week, then you probably don't need this chlorine feeder. Because really, your pool guy is your chlorine feeder. A few of the benefits of this chlorine feeder is number one, it's more efficient. So it should use less chlorine. It's also an enclosed system, so there's no fumes. And the best feature is, when you go on vacation for two or three weeks, your pool stays chlorinated. No worries. And just a word of warning, when you open that cap up to put in new tabs, you should wear a mask because the fumes are very strong. The first time I did this, it almost knocked me out. So guys and gals, as far as this review goes, we recommend the Pentair 300. This feeder is made of quality plastic and really has only one moving part, which is the dial. Less moving parts, the better. And remember, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy the Pentair 300. In full disclosure, Pentair did not send us this product. We bought the product ourselves and paid for the installation. So guys, we're all done here. And I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out on the very next video. So guys and gals, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it.